This morning, we are showing you how easy it is to go glam for the holiday gathering. So here to help us is celebrity makeup artist Patrick Todd, known for his beauty tutorials on TikTok and Instagram. He's also one of Hollywood's top makeup artists, working with celebs like Salma Hayek, Carol G, and Camila Cabello, just to name a few. He also has his own namesake brand, Patrick Todd Beauty, and he's here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me back today. Oh, we're huh. so happy to have you, especially going into the holidays, and we have our first model, Emily, here, and dry skin can yeah. be such an issue in the winter. How do you still get that dewy, fresh look? So let me show you how to get a really dreamy base. So skin prep is so important. Mm -hmm. So never, step, never skip the step, okay? So regardless of your skin type, this is going to allow foundation to just lay so smoothly onto your skin. Apply a really rich moisturizer during okay. the holidays because, again, like with with the winter, your skin can get very dry. Mm -hmm. But so with the foundation that I'm I'm going to be using, I'm using a cream foundation. And what's mm -hmm. so unique about a cream foundation, unlike other formats, is that the longer you wear a cream foundation, the better it looks on your really? skin. Okay. So I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to go in with a with with a damp blender. Okay. Especially so during. Sorry. You put that under the sink. Yeah. And, and make sure you squeeze out okay. all all the water, especially during the winter. Mm -hmm. um, using a damp like um, sponge can really hydrate your skin as well if you have drier skin. Okay. So I'm going to apl apply apply the foundation on, and again, like the skin looks mm -hmm. like skin, and that is what we want. So right. I don't know if after on this side, like if you are, if you're going to apply your contour, your concealer, going in with a little bit of powder. Mm -hmm. Never powder your whole entire face unless you're on camera, but okay. powder certain areas, just like the peak of your forehead, mm -hmm. um, your smile lines, and this is gonna really bring dimension to your face, but then still leave the perimeter okay. of your face nice and natural. So the layers are so important. Yeah. And you look beautiful. <laughs> I love that. All right, let's talk about blush for the next model, Kayla. Um, it always seems like you do it in the perfect spot and it doesn't look too blushy. So, yeah, you know so, what I mean? so I have been doing makeup for 12 years now and I am constantly learning new ways to apply blush. Okay. And so, for this tip, um, what you want to do is take two different blush colors. I'm taking a darker shade, a, like a darker shade mm -hmm. and then a lighter shade. This is going to give you a more modern way to ombre your blush. Okay, how do you do it? So, going in, if, if you want your blush to last all day long, going in with a darker shade first. Applying this, going in pressing motions, applying this just right onto um, the high points of your cheekbones. So is it above where you do contour? Right above where you do contour. And this okay. placement is going to really just give you that ombre effect. And going in with a lighter shade right here, uh -huh. going right onto the apples Ooh. of your cheeks. You, you guys can see that I'm doing powder before blush. Okay. I mean, a pa 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 powder before a cream. Then taking oh, a little bit of the cream. From what I would think. I know, taking yeah. a little bit of the cream. On top? On top, and this is going to melt all of the powder into your skin. And you like blush for the holiday, or you like the berry tones for the holidays? The berry tones for the holidays are perfect. So even if you are ever like trying to find the right lip color, just take your blush because it's sheer. Okay. Put a little bit of this just right onto the center On the of your lips. Mm. And this pretty. is going to tie the whole entire oh, look that's together. That's pretty. And then I'm going to blend the cream right into the under eye. This How is really... important is blending with like an egg or something? So I personally love blending with a beauty blender because it's going to make the, the application so flawless, so okay. seamless. Okay. All right. Let's ha I'll bring in Nyla here. Beautiful as always. Let's talk about how to use highlighter to give you that glow. Ooh, so... This is my number one um, trick that I do okay. on all of my celebrity clients. Okay. Um, obviously, the traditional way to apply a highlighter is using like a um, a powder highlighter. But right. what I like to do is using a balm. So by using a balm, let me show you. This is going to okay. really just melt all of the product onto your skin, applying it onto all the areas that, that you would normally apply your powder highlighter. Apply a balm just using a blender and pressing in. Do you see how it just gives you yeah, your face is that flawless. Lit from within glow? It does. And I'm just going on, just going a little bit on pressing motions. And then Gorgeous. what you want to do is also, whenever you apply glow to your face, you want to apply it to your body as well. So okay. taking a little bit just right onto the, the decollete so you make Gorgeous. sure that your body matches your face. Do you have face. anywhere to go today? Because you don't want to waste, <laughs> don't want to waste this. <laughs> all of you guys. Patrick, as always, thank, thank you, so you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.